This is all the side Easter eggs on Liberty Falls. From turning into a superhero to getting free points, free perks, and even like five ways to get a free ray gun. So if you're ready to go, hit that subscribe button and we'll begin. To get yourself a free perk, I recommend buying a sniper, although it can be done with other weapons if you're pinpoint accurate, and then heading into the back of the church graveyard. Back there, you'll find this opening area. It's kind of a little path off into the distance and on a fence, you'll see that there are a series of cans. If you zoom in and start shooting the cans and you miss a shot, all of the cans are going to disappear and you're going to need to go another round to get this to come back. But if you don't miss any shots and you have 100% accuracy, you'll knock all the cans off the fence and you'll be granted a free dead shot. Next, if you go to the spawn area of the map, you'll be able to find this pair of bowling alley shoes sitting just here. And if you shoot them, a little sound will play and they will disappear. We're going to now look for a couple more pairs of shoes. So another pair can be found in this window here, sitting on this coffin. And I know it's disrespectful, I guess, to be shooting shoes off a coffin, but they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Then there's another pair of shoes just here, hanging from a tree, quite nearby to where we did the dead shot thing. There's another pair of shoes just here, as you can see, just shoot those. And there's a final pair of shoes just here. And these don't need to be done in this order, by the way, you can do them in any order. Once you've shot your fifth pair of shoes, you're going to be teleported into a bowling Easter egg. It's going to allow you to play bowling. And at first, I didn't really understand how it worked because I was going for the pins in the back of the bowling alley. But you're actually meant to be going for the zombies. So charge up your bowling ball, get as many zombie kills as you can. And at the end of it, you'll get a free perk as a reward. But what a lot of people don't know is that once you finish bowling and you pick up your reward, you'll start being teleported back to reality. Oh, there will go gravity. And then you'll spawn back in. But you'll be able to reactivate bowling if you go over to this window inside the bowling alley and shoot into the toilet where another pair of shoes are located. And if you do bowling again by doing this, you can get gold guns as a reward as well. So there's a whole load of free rewards you can get just from bowling. Next, it's time to boogie down with some zombies, but not in the bowling alley, but actually through a viewfinder. So come to the viewfinder in the spawn area and look for the zombie dancing on a rock. Then go across to the other viewfinder on the other side of the bench and aim that one at the zombie as well. If you do this on separate rounds, you're basically going to have nothing happen and you're going to need to go back and activate one one more time. But if they're both lined up on the zombie, it will start a party and all the zombies around you will start dancing as well and the manglers will even join in. However, a warning for this is that abominations can't dance and so they're just going to keep attacking you. So keep that in mind. Don't let your guard down. Next, we need to do some sucking with the jet gun. And so we're going to quickly run through how to get the jet gun for free through a side quest. Make your way into Washington Avenue and look for this. It's a little water valve that you can find outside the front of the flower store. Should be pretty easy for you to grab. Next, head to Liberty Lanes. That is the bowling alley. And in there, you're looking for this breaker. And with the breaker, you basically need to destroy it. So I think you can shoot it, you can melee it, you can do anything just to break it open, and then you can place the water valve inside. Then I'd recommend you get to the end of a round if you're playing solo, because this next step is going to take a little while to do. Kind of reminds me of that one step on Blood of the Dead solo. But basically get to the end of a round, so you've just got one or two zombies left, and you can have a teammate hoard them if you're in co-op, and that's going to make things super easy. And then hold square to increase the water pressure. And you need to keep on holding it down, and then once completed, a water a pressure gauge will pop out. Pick that up. Next, we're going to need a mangler arm cannon or a mutant injection. So if you've already got a mutant injection via one of the quests on the map, there's a variety of them, or you've got it from a special enemy, that's fine. You can use that here, but you can alternatively just go over to a crafting bench and spend salvage to craft yourself an armor cannon. Crafting benches can be found here and here. And once you've got yourself a mangler arm or a mutant injection, you need to shoot at this door to destroy the radio store on Riverside near the comic store. Inside there are piles of trash that you can hold square on to uncover salvage or even in as well, so be mindful not to get jump scared here. But as you root through the trash, you should eventually be able to find a trash pile containing electrical wires. Once you find them, pick them up. Then head to the cemetery area and you'll find a groundskeeper zombie roaming around there in a unique outfit. He should be wearing like a red shirt with dungarees and overalls. 
kills, that's how you can distinguish him from the other zombies. Once you find him, kill him, and once he dies, he'll drop a key for a shed. So, you just need to head over to the shed and follow where I'm going in the gameplay here in order to do that. And once you get there, you'll be able to find a handle break inside. Then head over to the second floor of the motel, and you can follow where I'm going in the gameplay here in order to get there. And once you arrive, a bunch of zombies will come crashing out of this motel room, and you just need to take them out and then walk into that room. Inside, you'll find a jet gun on a crafting table that's sort of mid-assembly, and this is your jet gun crafting bench. Now, before you build the jet gun, I want to give you a word of warning. This room is basically one way in, one way out. It's very narrow in there, and it's a bit of a death trap. So while you're doing this next bit, just be mindful that you're going to have your back to the zombies, and it's going to get sketchy if you've got a big horde following you. So it's a good idea to have a teammate hold a zombie for you if you can. You're going to run into the little room and hold square on the bench to craft the jet gun and boom, you've got it crafted. Now we can get back to sucking. So bring the jet gun to this little ledge and suck the little statue that you can see on this AC unit. And once you get it all the way into the jet gun, it will make a little sound and you can move on to the next statue. There are four of them located inside Ollie's comic shop. So there's one right in the entrance as you get in there and that's really really easy to find. A second can be found over here. And also while you're doing this, I'd honestly just recommend sucking the room because it's going to make it a lot easier to find the specific locations for these. There's my third one and my fourth is just across the room. Next, we need to find one in Liberty Lanes. It's going to be near the top of the sign on the word lanes. There's another one on the church, just resting on the window up there. There's another one on the motel sign. And it's not the big motel sign. It's the one to the side of that building. And there's another one if you come up to the roof of the bank and then buy the X marks the spot thing to drop down here and you need to suck another AC unit to grab your final statue. Now, I'm not grabbing the statue in my game here straight away because I have a recommendation for all of you guys. This Easter egg's really cool. It's really, really awesome, but it's more fun with more zombies spawned in when you first get inside her. So wait for a bunch of zombies to be spawned and then suck that final statue in and you'll find yourself inside Etherella. You can now control her to laser blast all these zombies in front of you and you can also still maneuver around by jumping and things like that as well. And there might even be more to this quest while we're in Etherella mode. And if anything's found, I'll make sure to post another video about that. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. There are also a couple of ways to get free power-ups. So if you want to come back to Ollie's comics where we were a moment ago, you should be able to find a little symbol that you can shoot here and that will give you a free power-up. You can also get a free nuke. And for this one, I think you need an explosive, I think. So you're going to come to this area and you're going to throw the explosive at this chandelier and you'll get yourself your free kaboom. Similarly, if you come back to the church graveyard and you look for this little tiny thing, if you shoot that, you'll get another free power up. Now, while you're at the church, there's another Easter egg that we can do, but you need to have an explosive and that can be an explosive bullet weapon like the Sally, or it could be the ray gun, or it can just be a grenade. Whatever you choose to use, you just need to blow up this zombie head attached to a spike on top of the church. If you do it successfully, the head will disappear and zombies will then start falling from the sky and all of them will drop a reward. So some of them will drop you, for example, an ether wrench, which will upgrade your weapon rarity. Others will just drop 100 points. Others might drop things like a chopper gunner or another support streak. And so wait for all the zombies to stop raining from above and then grab all those juicy goodies. Next, we've all been there in real life, right? Where you go to a vending machine and you try and buy yourself a drink or something and it gets stuck and it's the most annoying thing in the world. But thankfully, we can right those wrongs in Liberty Falls with the free vending machine Easter egg because this thing, it gives you so much loot. But there's been a bit of confusion about how to do this on the internet and I talked about this in my most recent zombies tips and tricks video, but there's been even more discoveries associated with it since then. So the most consistent way to do this is to not have melee macchiato. If you've bought melee, then it's going to destroy the machine when you hit it and you're just going to be out of luck. But if you don't have melee macchiato, come over to the machine, crouch and punch the dispenser part of the machine. And it's going to give you a ton of rewards. You can get a gold ray gun from this. You can get a regular ray gun. You can get 
an Ethereum crystal. You can even get perks. It's so generous and it will give you rewards every single round if you just keep on punching that dispenser. Next, you might have noticed these little headphones around the map. And what we're going to do is hold square on these headphones here. And then we're going to go look for two more. And the next location can be found just here. So hold square once again. And the third set can be found just here. And once you hold square on your third one, the music Easter egg is going to begin playing. And it's a really awesome song, custom written just for Call of Duty Zombies, which I think is amazing. Next, we're going to summon some hellfire. Ring of Fire might be gone in this game, but we're bringing it back, baby. So come to the church and bring a weapon with napalm burst. And I think you can also do this with molotovs. If you can, let me know in the comments down below. But if you've got the napalm burst ammo mod on your weapon, you'll be all set for this. And you're going to be looking for this set of candles. And you're going to need to shoot them until they start smoking a kind of purpley effect. Then you need to look for this next set of candles and do the exact same thing. And once you do that successfully with both sets, a big purple pool is going to appear on the floor and it's going to be a trap that ticks down the health of zombies. And the amazing thing about this is that it's decent, like it's not dreadful, and you can do this every round and it's free. So if you need a little bit of extra wave clear, maybe you're out of ammo or you just want to chew through a round a little bit faster, this could be a really cool trick. And a pro tip for this would be that you could probably do it during the boss fight of the Liberty Falls Easter egg. And I've got that linked on screen and in the description down below right now if you want to take a crack at it. Next, you might have heard of getting a free jet gun or a free ray gun from the cars on the map. And today I want to sort of clear that up a little bit. So basically there's a lot of cars all around Liberty Falls and some of them have just zombies trapped inside. But these ones look a little different to the rest. There are three of them in total. One is just here, the second is just here, and the third is just here. And what you're looking for as you go across all these cars is Mr. Peaks in the back. Once you find him, keep note of the fact that he's in there and be careful not to blow up that car. The reason for that is that we need to blow it up, but in a specific way. So go to a crafting bench and craft yourself a Mangler Cannon. It costs 1250 salvage. And then you can come back to this car with Mr. Peaks in the back and shoot your cannon at it. And when it gets exploded, the boot of the car will pop open and you'll get some free rewards from inside. And this can be, like I said, a free jet gun or a free ray gun or free gold weapons or all sorts of other goodies. But there are other ways to get free ray guns as well. So it's not just the vending machine. It's not just the Mr. Peaks car. You can also get free ray guns out of the crystals in the church just like we could during Black Ops Cold War. And you can also get a free ray gun from the trials machine. So when trials spawn in, do a trial, get a legendary reward, and then this might happen. To get that just, oh, I got a ray gun out of the, out of the thing. Sick. And on top of all of those, another way to get the free ray gun is, like I said before, to do the Liberty Falls Easter egg main quest. And that's not only going to give you a free ray gun, it's also going to give you a ray gun skin. And look how gorgeous this thing looks. So at this point, you've got two options. Either you could click the video on the left, which is the Liberty Falls main quest, and you could get yourself that ray gun skin. Or if we find more side quests on Liberty Falls that aren't in this video, I'll include them in a follow-up on the right-hand side. Choose your video now, and I'll see you there.